Hello, and thank you for joining today. Today we're looking at Powers uh, 3 in 1 um, 6,700 milliampere's uh, power bank slash uh, international travel uh, charger. Um, I am one that is always looking out for ways to keep my devices charged up uh, when, I'm, when I'm on the move. So this is a really interesting power bank I'm looking forward to, to using. Um, I bought this on Amazon. Uh, this particular video today is part of my impression series on this channel where I look at products and their specification uh, and talk about how I will use them in my life. So um, this power bank, I bought it from Amazon. And um, like I said, I'm always looking out for ways to keep my device charged up when I'm on the go. And I, I'm always exploring different power banks. Uh, one of my best power banks is by Zendo. Um, and um, one of these days I will review one of, the, one of them that I have. Um, I have a few of them, but this one is a uh, Powo. It's not a brand I've used before. Uh, so I'm keen to see what their power bank looks like. So it comes with um, three international plugs. And this is the power bank itself. And you will also get the carry case and uh, a user manual. So I'm just gonna put away this and uh, we will have a look at the power bank. So these are the different international plugs and by default it comes with the US adapter. So for those of us who live in England, uh, this is the adapter for us. Um, I believe this is Australian and this is the, the European plug, I believe. Yes, European, UK, and Australia and obviously you have the American one so one thing I like about this power bank is that it is a power bank but at the same time um, it has this built-in wall plug so you're not you're traveling and you're not concerned about whether you brought your cable to charge the device but also it has a wireless uh, base as well so you can charge wireless you can charge wirelessly and um, by default it comes with two USB A plugs and uh, which both charge at two amps so they're not really fast charging but they are standard charging so usually I'm not one to be too fussy about um, fast charging fast charging and um, it also comes with a USB C uh, pl uh, uh, plug as well which is you know 2.4 amps so that's good that would that is a, a lot more faster when it comes to charging and it also comes with a digital display as well that lets you know how much uh, power that you've got on the device so these are really good qualities one of the things I, I would have said they should have done was to also put in let's say two rows of uh, built-in cables for USB-C and a lightning cable inside here or micro usb with an adapter built in and uh, yeah and a lightning cable this would have been the ideal power bank for any everything and the capacity of this power bank is 6700 so it, it should charge a phone uh, most phones fully uh, it, it, at least one one charge at least i use a, a note 10 plus so um, a Samsung Note 10 Plus, so that should charge the phone at least completely once, and then just a little bit after that, uh, because that comes at a 5,000 milliampere power bank. But if you have an iPhone, I believe iPhones are either, either at 3,000 uh, milliampere or 3,500, so this will be able to charge a phone, an iPhone twice, or you know just uh, once, and uh, a, you know go a good distance on, on the second charge so i like this i like this power bank uh, slash uh, wall charger um, it's the way you unplug it is you this is the adapter for us so for me uh well this is this will be my adapter 
and uh, this is what I will use uh, charging the device uh, but if I'm traveling to the States uh, this is this will be uh, the adapter as well so in terms of um, the wireless charging I will try that out with my um, with my earboards and let's see how that works so nothing happens until you press the power button and you can see the light that is showing uh, that is indicating that you are now charging uh, the with the wireless uh, power bank the, the, the red indicator um, that you will also see the device also blinking to show you that it is charging so in terms of uh, measurement it is a square uh, squarish uh, device so in terms of measurement it is about eight centimeters by eight centimeters and the thickness is about three uh, centimeters and um, from amazon there they say this weighs about 240 grams so it's it's not it's not light it's not heavy either it's somewhere in the middle and it could charge about four devices at the same time so you could charge USB-C to USB-A and uh, for, um, a, a wireless uh, device as well. Uh, from what they are saying, it is it's got all the usual stuff where it charges. Um, it's got metal detection for the wireless charging, and um, also I, I believe it can support up between. 90 to 240 volts uh, so it is a universal charger so it will charge at most uh, countries the i like the led on it uh, because you know this is a lot better than the usual uh, where you get um where you get um four led lights uh, the fact that it tells you the actual capacity is uh, a really good uh, feature uh, for the power bank so i like it usually i go for a darker color power bank but because of these features it had i was willing to to go for this um, i'm willing to uh, i'm always concerned that if it's white then it will you know pick up a lot of dirt um but you know i'm willing to to go with that the fact that it will charge um you know multiple devices it will plug straight into the wall um, I don't know if it's a PD if it's got power delivery so whether you could it will charge your device through um, when you plug it in whether it will charge your device then charge the power bank at the same time I don't think so uh, but the wireless charging is 5 watts so it's not the fastest uh, but if you're not in a hurry that should do and uh, mostly i'll use it to charge things like you know the earboard that i've talked about earlier so it comes with a carry case obviously you this carry case is for the adapters so this is where you can store all your adapters and uh, you know just put all of them away and uh, you know seal that off and um, obviously for me the adapters will be saved will be stored away somewhere else and i will use them as and when needed so um, this is it about the power bank slash wall charger i uh, hope you like the video and uh, please like and subscribe and uh, click the notification so you're notified whenever i post a new video and uh, if you've got any questions put it in the comment section i will try to answer it to the best of my knowledge and at the same time if you use this power bank and you've experienced it you know please share in the comment section let us know what your experience is that will be helpful to someone who is thinking of this power bank and um, thank you for watching and uh, i'll catch you next time when i post a new video thank you